welcome back so in this lecture let's start to write queries to ask questions to the graphql and we can get the our results back okay so let's go back to the same url rahulcityacademy.com slash gq graphql slash graphql basically this is the url endpoint where i hosted my uh, graphql server okay so in the last lecture we have already seen about uh, different types of uh, uh, types available arguments and fields right so now let's get started now you know that this graphql is so powerful that it can talk to the characters api location details episodes by id and all the episodes databases legacy system it talks to everywhere so you can ask all the details on one single go uh, by querying to this graphql endpoint okay so the scenario what i shown here the graphql what it supports is here so i have created that for you to practice and now let's get started so first thing so you have to start like this query okay so first graphql needs to understand that you are asking something but not uh, giving instruction to store there are two type of things where graphql can do just like rest apis it can retrieve the data and also it can create the data for you in the back end you know about how it works with post calls right in rest apis that you can also create the data in the data uh, database using api calls post data right create a place add a place add a book all that we can do uh, with a post call similarly with graphql also we can do that terminology we called as a mutations i have yet not reached that concept at this point we are still only in the get call style okay in rest apis you know get call gives you data right same thing we are doing now it's just retrieving so to write a query of retrieving this is the formal syntax which you have to start with query and put a uh, braces like this and here where you need to uh, give the information now so if you go to the and check out all these uh, types so here let's start with this so here you can get the character details by its id now for example in the back end i have stored a character name called rahul where its id is 8 okay that data pre data is already there in our uh, graphql database so later lectures you can create your own data using mutations and then use query to retrieve that okay so as we are still not in the mutation to create data so i'm just telling you that as of now before making this video i created one new character in the back end with the name of rahul so let's see if we can retrieve it or not okay so when i created that character the id what i got is number eight so let's say uh, that if somebody somebody ask you to retrieve the details of the character based upon its id okay and the id is 8 let's see how to do that um this is what we need now because we are trying to get the character details right so use this type just like how it is exactly you can use in same way character this is the type and argument so there are a lot of characters we have in the back end right so which character you want I want only the character of ID 8. So this is an argument. So in the last lecture, I have told you, right, we can filter the results with the help of argument. That argument is shown inside this uh, bracket. So if you go here, uh, this is an argument and this is a character ID. So just like how they have given syntax, you can write same manner here also. Just copy it and paste it here. Now, so here they are saying you can give any integer. Now it's your duty to give that actual ID uh, of which you have to retrieve the details. Okay. So as I said, the one what I stored now before this lecture is about Rahul character and its ID is 8. Okay. Right. Now see that there is exclamatory mark. So when you see exclamatory mark, that means this argument is mandatory to pass. Okay, if you don't pass this mandatory argument, then GraphQL query will return an error. And you see another type here, here that uh, uh, exclamatory is not there. That means this argument is not mandatory. But in this case, they were saying that this is a mandatory. So you have to send ID to send the details of the character. Okay, 
now you are calling this type fine but ultimate goal is to not call this type right inside this type there are a lot of fields available so we need to get those fields so that means i want that character's name that is my basic agenda so to get the character name first i started with its type on which it is wrapped and to filter the exact detail i provided argument and now tell what you want everything you can provide here so how you provide fields simple open another curly braces representing that this has one chunk of type and ask what you need do you need name of the character whose id is 8 you want to know that okay let's see simply pass name so now when you run this query what happens is uh, graphql receives this and it checks first what is the type this guy is asking okay character let me go to character and again it will check argument it filtered with 8 okay and then it got all that uh, details of that character and it will not blindly send everything about that character see that is the difference between rest api and graphql it will only send the details what you are asking here you are just asking name though it have capability to get many things you are just asking name okay perfect execute this query here with this icon and here you go this is your results it says that hey for that id this is the guy okay so tomorrow um you made some changes in your front end and now you are also willing to get gender right so you will not touch any back end okay because a problem here is now let's say rest api is there let's assume rest api in this scenario um if you have a schema that rest rest api response will be like this no matter what id you ask it will give you everything what rest api needs to give okay if you want some additional information then they have to tweak the rest api to give that information but in the terms of graphql whatever you need that it can support it can give you now if you need uh, let's say gender gender that's it and now submit the call again mail see that's a dynamic response okay so in rest api also dynamic is there but dynamic values will be there but here dynamic fields which is not be there in rest api calls okay n number of fields or one number of field anything you can ask now um let's see status is this guy alive perfect he is alive see so like this and now you know what id is also one field so though you are giving id 8 you can still ask to get that id it will still return you 8 so that way you can check that your graphql is working correctly or not this is one of the testing piece right okay uh, what people do is they filter with 8 and they make sure graphql is exactly working um, by still asking again id because that's allowed okay in the field given list of fields id is also there so you can ask it awesome so this is one field and you know that beauty of graphql here is it's just not about one detail in one single query you can ask about character character location episodes everything now this graphql spoke to some backend api and gave this character right now i want to know that guy's location okay now for that do you want to write another query no same query same endpoint you will get extension results of the location also let's see go back and now see this get location by its id this is another type okay let's start with that i'll prettify it see when you just click on prettify that uh, query disappears but what what i suggest is make a uh, practice of writing that uh, keyword like this because uh, when you go in other uh, api automation code there you might be asked to write like this okay so here they are customizing the syntax if you just click on this prettify right now i want another type location in the same query um, location id is an argument so that's a mandatory so you have to pass it guys now we know that id is the 8 so basically i want to know the location of the guy whose id is 8 right that's what we are saying so this is a type name this is an argument and now what you need uh, that you can go and check in the fields type okay you can get the name of the location where this guy is dimensions everything let's see 
So if you want to access the fields in the type, you know that you have to open curly braces and write inside it. Okay, so name of the location. Let's see. Perfect, you see this guy is from India. Awesome. So basically GraphQL is talking to multiple places here. So this is coming from uh, one API call or one chunk of database. This location is something another module. Okay, technically, as we discussed previously in REST API calls, we have to make multiple calls. But everything I am uh, scrabbling down in one query and asking the details, and that's the duty of GraphQL to talk with everybody and give one consolidated response like this. So that's the power of uh, query syntaxes. It's easy, right? Writing query syntax is not a big deal. Now, let's say I want dimension of that guy. I know he's in India, but let's get the dimension. You can ask a number of things. See, 123, some random numbers I entered, okay? So, cool. So this is how we are able to access location also. Now let's go back. Now we will see uh, what is the episode uh, we are getting, fine? Now, because that's where we thought, right? We got character, location, dimension, name, name of the character, character status. Now all these four fields we got in one single go, right? And next is character episode air date. Okay, let's scroll down and here there is another uh, type, get one episode by its ID. So basically every episode will have its own ID. So again, these locations you can create. We are retrieving these locations, right? You can also create new locations also in the backend database. That I'll teach you in the mutations. You can create new character also. You can create new episodes also. That also we can do with GraphQL. Just stay tuned. We will see that topics also. Now episode. Okay, let's say I want to grab the episode one. Okay, uh, the lot of episode IDs are there. Um, let's say we'll stick with one for now. And what do you want from that episode? It's fine. Now you asked GraphQL that bring down this episode type of ID one. But exactly if inside, um, Let's say you want to know the name of episode. Assuming that this character ID 8 is present in this one episode. Okay, so name is there and do you want to know when it is aired on TVs? Then use air date and what else you want to see? Anything, uh, if you want to see the episode name, there is episodes custom ID. If you want to know that, you can do that also. Perfect, you can ask three things like this. Okay, so looks like there is an error here. Let's try to fix it. Oh, because there is a spelling mistake, see? This ID is also so cool that it was telling whatever uh, mistakes we had, it was immediately pointing out. Awesome. Okay, so episode name is Red-Headed League. Wow. And this aired in 1891. Oh, this guy is too old. <laughs> And episode ID is also again a redheaded. Okay, so now our GraphQL spoke to another set of uh, data systems, episode, but everything with one single query. So you call one endpoint with one query and it is giving you a hell lot of details by talking to multiple things. Cool, right? Now finally, I'll tell you another um, a tricky one. So here, characters. Let's start with this. Okay, this looks little tricky, right? These are like straightforward, like uh, give the ID and get the details, but this is something, let's see. Um, so characters, get all the characters. So basically this type will help you to have, get all the characters present in the uh, backend database. Fine. Um, let's go with our uh, basic uh, way of doing. Type name, start like this, characters. Uh, let's do it here. Next, arguments. So it is one argument, it is filter is there. Okay, filter colon, basically argument colon value, right? Now you have to give value here. And here is a problem. Previously, uh, value is just ID number, right? Eight, one, we know this. But here, this is the custom written type. That means this is the another type, guys. We discussed in the previous lecture, right? 
um the data types can be scalar with a simple integer string boolean or it can be the type another type also now what value i have to give here that value they were saying that that is the type simply click on this so that means you can pass these fields as a value of this argument okay because this is another complete type which we have seen previously see name gender all these we have seen right that type complete type is going as a value for this argument okay that's why you see here these are straightforward integers but here it is giving location filters okay so that location filters uh, when you select this there is one type defined for this okay we are in characters right sorry character filters and it's taking to another type fine now that means you can filter these characters so when you say get me everything um you can get all but you have an argument here like get all characters based upon the name okay now uh how can you write multiple fields in one go here see right if there is only one guy you can write like this but if there are multiple fields which you want to pass how do you do that see here we did right if if you want to pass multiple fields we wrap it in curly braces same here also simply wrap it in curly braces and ask what you want now name name i would say get me all the characters based on rahul that's it so this episode sorry this type is something which will get you all characters so it will filter the database like see what different characters have name called rahul there could be multiple characters we are asking to get all of them fine so that's how you define this filter argument where if it's a uh, another type is written type okay simple um, if it's scalar data type like boolean simply you will write value if it is a type then again same story i uh, put nicely uh, curly braces like this and name rahul like we are filtering based on these values isn't it now next pagination is there i want to skip this can i yeah why not because there is no exclamatory here also there is no exclamatory technically that means these are all optional fields so what i would do i would just say okay that's done argument is done now go and get characters now go to the characters um these are different uh, fields what it can give you again this is tricky see so basically you are calling the type and asking what all you need from that isn't it now here characters is the type uh, which can get you the all characters that we know for that we need this argument we filtered that we need a characters based on the name rahul only don't give me everything that's what we are asking that is also fine now when you go inside these are the different fields you can ask okay now let's start with info see there is an error why understand the difference here again now previously uh, you just went with this location and here when you go to this what is field name this is simple scalar type so it will return you string that's pretty straight forward so that's why i didn't do anything i just asked give me the name and it will give me the name in string got it straight forward but here problem is the return type again is not scalar it's not string or boolean to simply return by graphql graphql cannot simply return as a string or something it is again a uh, type select this see this is going again all these so that means we have to tell what fields we need from here okay so that means um, i i it's very simple guys let me write it here info again if there are multiple fields then just ask the count that's it submit see that means there is only one character with the name rahul so that's how see it went to the database and it counted total how many characters i have with the name called rahul let me pull this okay now again this is little tricky i'll explain you one more time i know so you need to give the field names uh, if it is scalar simply give like this 
but problem here is uh, when you provide info it is asking further information okay this information is not sufficient for graphql to return so what it is saying is hey previously it is simple string i am written it but now this is a type and when i go inside there are lot many things i have which one you want so tell me clearly so if there are multiple things we know that you can ask with curly braces so i put curly braces and i'm saying okay just give me the count that's all i don't need all this okay perfect so it gave me in this fashion cool right similarly there is another one called result okay this is also one field again this is also not straight forward right if it's a scalar data type we can easily get it so again graphql confuses guys uh, i mean it says that i have so many things here to return what you want okay um i want maybe that guy name again rahul only will come of course and character type what kind of character it is i just want to know okay so these are the different things you can ask in this result right so we are asking these two things submit perfect he see he is a teacher see lot many things you are asking on one single query with one single endpoint call you are asking about uh, types characters whole details episode details the location and individual character details everything is packed in one single query and graphql in the back end doing all the work to get the information i hope now you are practically able to correlate the importance of graphql okay it's one single query to one single endpoint and more importantly you are asking only the exact details what you need here okay so this is one way of you know nicely writing queries actually yeah i we have pretty much covered all the types of how we can query so maybe um if we go back and see our assignment because this is what we ultimately try to solve right uh, name of the character we have location dimension we have episode air date we have and other episodes list instead of other episodes list we got the total characters list let's add that also okay we'll do that in the next lecture thank you